Um, the card on the bottom of the deck, which I do like to uh, pay attention to, is the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is an energy, um, this can be a positive individual. This is, you know, your Leo Sagittarius Aries person. Uh, but it's it's a fast moving energy. Uh, it has to do with the passions. It has to do with uh, wanting to basically charge forward with something. Uh, this is about a, a a surge in energy, kind of a power surge, if you want to think of it that way. Um, but this is a really positive energy when you need that kind of action to be taking place. And for a lot of cancers, uh, they've got a lot going on. Um, they're kind of, um, they've been sort of going through a transitional phase in their life and they really want this energy to be able to work for them. <clears throat> so let me just place this deck over here. Uh, the first card is the temperance card. The temperance really wants to teach us about the, the benefit of patience. Uh, it also teaches us about divine timing and how sometimes we've done everything that we absolutely can, but it's just, it's not enough to kind of get that energy going, right? Um, the temperance is that idea uh, I mentioned in one of the, the beginning of July readings about, you know, essentially you're baking a cake, you've mixed the batter, you floured the pans, you preheated the oven, you pour the batter into the pans, you place it into the oven, there's just no hurrying that process. Uh, if you turn up the temperature on the cakes in the oven or the future cakes in the oven, um, all you're going to do is burn the outside while the inside is raw batter. Um, if you decide to slow it down or cool it down, um, it's not going to come out right. It's going to dry out. Uh, the idea is there's a certain thing, you've done it. The, you've done the work here. And really, all you're trying to do is just have the patience to get through. But it's really frustrating because we do see that this energy right here is talking about that forward motion and wanting to take that forward motion. But temperance is not really that energy. Temperance really is about, hey, man, chill out. Uh, just kind of let things be for a time. Um, you'll notice that the person standing in both water and earth, this is practicality. At the same time, it has to do with uh, that emotion. It's sort of the balance between the logic, the material, and our emotional experiences. Um, definitely, we see the two, uh, the two cups here, which are super positive um, in a reading. They do have to do with soulmate energy. But for some of you who uh, this is relating to as a romantic uh, reading, this would be about you got to wait. This person can be coming in, but you're, you're going to have to wait for that. Um, and that's a divine timing energy. So we may have to check some of these, uh, these impulses uh, to just sort of leap ahead. But with the judgment card that's crossing the temperance card, uh, this is an energy that's coming into play, right? That's going to influence the situation that you've been in, in that temperance waiting kind of a game. This has to do with that rebirth that comes after you've had this experience of waiting. Um, so this can be very, very positive. It doesn't mean, um, it, it's, it's not a, it, for some people, it could possibly be a legal judgment to settle for the, the best of the situation. Uh, but this typically has more to do with um, that idea that you've, you've been through the ringer and you see what it's all for. You know, you realize, you recognize what the spiritual journey was that you were on. You have that clarity of vision and now you're celebrating because the worst is behind you and it's all beginning to clear up. But it's, it's coming in a little bit slowly. But this is saying that you're putting a lot of that behind you. Um, that energy is moving into the past. Now, um, we do have a little bit of other things coming in here as well. Um, as obvious, we've still got, you know, eight other cards here. Um, crowning you, what's on your mind, what may come to pass. This is the Four of Pentacles. And this guy is holding on to his dough right now. This, this can be a stingy energy. But I know for a lot of you, as you're waiting to see what's about to occur, this is more about, you know, being frugal right now right? Not spending in a crazy way because you don't know exactly how long you're going to be sitting in this kind of energy here. You don't know when you're going to have this rebirth moment. And for some of you, it just hasn't happened uh, in that way. You know, things were slow. Energies were kind of slow for you. So this has a lot to do with just kind of hanging tight and um, um, recognizing, you know, you may need to, you may need to watch your budget a little more tightly. This may come into play. This certainly is on people's minds. If you're thinking that you ought to do it, perchance you ought to do it. Maybe that's your intuition 
and this is a very intuitive card here, but, um, you know, I, you see this beautiful light in the back, but it's up that steep mountain. So there's still some work to do with this. If you're, if you're saying I need to stick to my budget, then by all means. Now, for some people, it may be, if this is a romantic experience or a romantic reading for you, it may be that, um, you're kind of guarded. You're holding on to yourself in a way, your material possession, your body, your, um, kind of holding back in a way in your relationship. And that could be because you're not really sure where it is right now. You're not really sure about that person. You're not sure if that's going to be such a good thing for you to kind of jump full forward into that. And maybe it's the case that you're kind of spot on with that. You're, you're sort of right, right? Beneath you, what's under your feet, what you have now is the page of wands in reverse. This could be that a love offer did not come in from some kind of fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. This could be a communication coming in, a communication that didn't come in, and a passion that didn't come in. If this is business related, you're not getting that job, or at least you haven't, you haven't had the job offer yet that kind of excites your passion. If this pertains to... Um, yourself kind of being guarded with somebody, you're right to be. You're right to be because this person is not playing straight with you. They may be, um, how do I put this in a polite way? Uh, well, they might be spreading their passion all around town. Let's put it that way. All right. And if, if this person is not a discreet or um, a wise-minded person, lots of things might be on fire, if you know what I'm trying not to say here. Uh, so just be careful that um, you don't have the gift that keeps on giving because of this trifling person. So be very, very careful uh, that you're not about to be done wrong by a fire sign or somebody who's kind of in an immature energy who may not be um, being honest with you. Or, or it could be that it's a very short-lived passion, the one-night stand. Watch that if you are going to have some kind of a one night stand or a casual relationship with someone, just be careful that you don't get hurt. And that's what this is saying. Uh, a, a lot of people kind of have that mindset. I can play and not have a problem with that. Again, sometimes people are mistaken about that. Sometimes they want more uh, than they can find in a person. So just be very, very careful that you know what you're getting into and that that's, that that squares with who you are and what you want uh, in that experience. Um, I don't recommend casual sexual relationships. If your heart is attached or attaching or interested in that person in some kind of a long-term uh, sort of way, just understand, you know, you get what you pay for on the one hand, but, um, well, I don't want to beat that dead horse, but behind you, I know in some readings it would, it would read the opposite. Um, but again, my training was this card was the reverse of that one or the back and this one was the forward. Uh, the world in reverse. So you're coming out of this energy and this, again, this ties back with the temperance and the judgment cards that something that you were hoping to complete did not come to pass. Uh, there was some kind of a delay in the completion of a personal life cycle. Uh, the chapter was not concluded, um, but this judgment card here means that it will be. You did not have the conclusion you were thinking of. Uh, for example, if you're leaving a job and you're thinking that you want to find that new job, you're waiting on this new job experience, but it is coming in, right? This will be coming in here. Um, so be mindful of that, you know. Um, it, there's a lot of elementals in here. We see the, the Leo lion in the corner, the Taurus bull. We see, uh, I'm not sure this guy up here, gal or whatever it is. Um, could be a Virgo or something. Uh, there's an eagle up there. That's kind of like an Aries. So really, the different signs here are represented. Um, but this is really, in the upright, the world is kind of a rebirth. Uh, but that has been kind of delayed for you in the in the past or moving into the past, the energy that's moving into your rearview mirror. Um, <clears throat> moving forward, we see the Queen of Swords. Uh, this could be a male or female, depends on the energy. Uh, the Queen of Swords is an air sign, right? That's your Gemini, your Aquarius, your, um, oh, I'm going to drop that. But <clears throat> at any rate, um, your air sign person uh, who's coming in and the Queen of Swords is a, a logical person. Um, it, it can be 
communication coming in, somebody who's good with technology, could be a manager, could be somebody in a STEM field, could be uh, some person like that uh, that would be coming in to your life. Um, the Queen of Swords can sometimes have that slashing tongue, however. Um, they can kind of tell you like it is and not mince words. Um, but this person is not necessarily somebody who is going to be bad news for you either. Note that she's facing the judgment card. She's facing the temperance card here. As the sense of judgment is coming in, she's looking at this scene. She may be a guide or somebody who's giving you some sort of guidance, who's, who's a wise counsel. She's sort of a dispassionate person. She, she may, she may not hold it back or sometimes sometimes air signs can be really blunt and they don't quite recognize that but um she i feel like she's going to be somebody well intentioned for you uh then again uh this queen of swords could even represent you and some of that behavior in that if you are dealing with some sort of a person who's not playing straight with you who's cheating who's doing a bunch of things over here um and you're holding on tight to yourself this could even be you slicing this person out and saying no no i'm not going to have that i really don't want that kind of energy in my life um so there's that uh, but taken together, even, this could be a communication that did not come in. Maybe it is going to come in, but it's going to be coming in big time here. Um, but, you know, again, I, I this kind of feels more like a wise counsel uh, from somebody. Maybe that is a job opportunity that's coming in. For some of you, maybe you're going to be dating an air sign. Um, but, it uh, again, this may be, uh, well, let me let me hang that up for a minute. The card representing you right now is the nine of pentacles in the reverse, like in the, in the upright, uh, this card really has to do with, uh, this woman who's got the most luxurious garden. Um, she's got grapes coming in. I'm going to, let's assume that they're wine grapes, right? Cancer. Um, but she's got all this coin right here. She's got the female symbol on her cloak. She's really got it made. She's in the lap of luxury right now. This is in the reverse, which speaks to me of an austerity. Again, <laughs> thinking that some of you guys may be going through some financial straits and you're struggling right now to make it within your budget. Uh, there's a lot of things that are going on financially. Um, some people, again, I, I, I feel like there's there's a job. Um, people have been applying for jobs. The job offer has not yet come through and you're looking at tightening your belt a little bit uh, to get through this time. And uh, that's a smart move. Um, be sure to, that you're calling in your friends and uh, your support team uh, to help you through that because that's no joke when you're struggling. Um, your environment card is the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is about travel, moving, right? If it, it may be the case that you have to move to get that job that you wanted or to find that new career opportunity or to find that new relationship or maybe you're breaking up in a relationship because somebody wasn't doing your right and you decided I got to cut this stuff out. I can't deal with it. I'm not putting up with this person anymore. Who's treating me in that way. And I'm moving on and I'm moving out and I don't know what's going to be up here, but it's got to be better than where I'm leaving. Ties in with this judgment card. Uh, uh, I am celebrating the fact that I'm done with this stuff. I'm moving on. I was in a period of delay and I'm leaping forward and I'm taking that initiative. I'm taking that action. I'm no longer feeling bad because things were, were going wrong for me, but I am moving on. I'm saying, uh-uh, I know what time it is. I know what you're doing. I'm over it. I'm moving on. So <clears throat> your hopes and fears. Now, this is the Four of Swords. Uh, this is a good card. I mean, it looks like a tomb. Don't Please don't be... Um, disheartened or, or scared by that. This really is about a period of meditation, rest, trying to get yourself together, especially if you're, if you've been in that place where you think that your relationship uh, is not going well, maybe they're cheating, maybe whatever, you're breaking up with that person. You've had to have a space of meditation and relaxation, but this card is in the reverse and it represents your hopes and fears. Maybe there's a part of you that fears coming out of that frame, coming out of that frame of rest and relaxation. 
making this decision that you know you need to do to chop it out. If this person is not treating you well, you're saying, I'm over it. I got to move on. I can't handle it anymore. I'm done. That takes a whole different level of courage. And I don't envy people when they have to be in that kind of energy. But it doesn't have to be ugly either, right? We don't have to be ugly when we say things to other people. When we set our limits, we set our boundaries. It doesn't have to be bad. Sometimes it's really just that case that they go to work one day, they come home and our stuff has moved out. You know, I, I mean, I'm not, I can't tell you what to do in your situation. Try to be beautiful to other people. I really hope that everyone can do that. I, I also know that that is not the human condition that we were born into. And I know that people do ugly things to one another. It is not your job to put up with ugly people. I, I mean, people being ugly to you, right? Behavior. Um, don't fear coming out of that energy. Again, we're trying to find that sort of a balance in here, right? This energy here, the world reversed. <laughs> Look at this. This is a circle. It's a person leaping through it. It's, it's all but a Sheila and a gig here with a, a birth uh, happening. But it's been in the reversed energy, even as you likely have been in this type of energy here where you are meditative, reflective, thinking on things, trying to make sure you're doing the right thing. But it is scary to try to come out of that uh, and to come back into our own sense of power. This hanged man right here, this is the future that's coming, which kind of ties in with this fear. If I'm afraid to come out of a meditative state, I'm definitely going to be doing a meditative state here. But I'm, I will say there's a lot of major arcana cards for you guys. The world card, the judgment, the temperance card, the hanged man. All of these are about spiritual journey. Spiritual journey. Not just the material, but the spiritual journey that you may be facing. This is about simmering down, <clears throat> excuse me, looking at life from a new perspective and saying, what are my best options? But I need to slow my roll. Hanged man, temperance, fear of coming out of the meditative energy that you have found yourself in, right? All of this is saying very much that you've been in that place where you know something needs to change and you've really wanted to take some downtime to yourself to really think about, contemplate, ask for spiritual guidance, pray on it, meditate on it, to really know that you're going to be making the right decision. That you're going to be making the right decision in that. And with clarity of mind, this judgment card is in the upright. So note that what you're thinking is correct. You are right. If it's telling you to end that relationship, that's what it's telling you. You are correct. And you're going to feel so much better. Look at these happy, satisfied people. They went through it. If you're leaving a relationship, it really is saying you're going to feel that much better. It's a spiritual journey. You're ending a karmic relationship. And yes, afterwards, there's going to be time to reflect. You're going to have a grief process that you're going to have to walk through and work through, right? Divine timing, patience, patience with yourself as well. Forgiveness of the person, of yourself, of the situation. Forgiveness, remember this, forgiveness does not make a behavior okay. It doesn't make a bad behavior okay. It simply means that you don't want to be tied to that anymore. You don't want that albatross around your neck, right? You don't want to be chained to that anchor. You really need to haul anchor and haul ass and get out. And this is your movement card that's happening right here. Now, this is the, the suit of swords. Swords is, um, that's intellectual energy, thoughts, ideas. It doesn't have to be a literal move. It can be a transition and orientation, for some people, it may be, you know what, I'm going to school and I'm going to study something and I'm going to learn some new kind of a thing, a new trade, so that in time, even though my action is suspended, I'm in a learning process and I know that I'm going to emerge in a state of renewal and a state of heightened capability so that I can take action when it's time to take action. 